welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Ayase and I'm uh, talking mainly about my cross stitch project in my in this channel. Well, I haven't uh, uploaded videos for a while because um, my husband works at home sometimes and uh, I didn't have a chance to film. And before starting filming this today, I I needed to review what I introduced last time and what happened. First, I framed two finished full coverage pieces. These ones. The first one, this is Sunset in Venice. Uh, from Heaven and Earth Designs and artwork by Dominic Davison. I have finished stitching this last um, November and uh, I finally bought the frame. This is 450 wide and uh, 321 high and uh, it uses 85 colors and I stitched this um, 28 count Lugana fabric and I used double mat uh, white and cream color and uh, some antique like frame. And this one, this is a uh, um, cover illustration from a book, and I charted this by myself. And this is um, I finished stitching this last uh, August last year and I finally framed. Uh, I used single mat with a gold line and a pale cream mat and uh, this uses green background so I chose greenish frame with some gold hmm. I can see recognize diagonal lines have some more small finishes first one is this um, this is uh, paired, with, paired with this design this one I stitched last year and its title is raspberries and this one is blueberries these are designed by the same designer um, and um, this size is 76 wide by 73 high and I stitched this on 32 count linen 2 over 2 and it uses 15 colors and uh, usually I don't care about the back side but, uh, this time I added uh, fabric with the uh, same design different colors so this one for raspberry and blue one for blueberry and this is another finish 
summer festival and lanterns fireworks a girl with cotton candy wearing yukata I stitch this on linen 32 count and um, it uses um, ten, 10 colors and some uh, fancy yarn for fireworks and cotton candy and this was designed by Noriko So and I am now stitching another design by her and this one this is also a design for summer although it's already September this is sunflower and I will have flower here and this will also use fancy yarn and For this one, I used this and this and I will use this for this design. So these are kitted and uh, I can make a small bag with this one but I haven't made it. Uh, because I don't know uh, maybe I won't use the bag and um, with this I will have uh, I will make a pouch and from now I'll show you all projects I have uh, stitched since last last time and first one is um, this is Rapunzel. I will have Rapunzel here, and uh, I stitched only a little uh, here. And this one, its size is 107 by 160 and I'm stitching a um, 28 count even with fabric and I'm using DMC 3808 color and stitching with 2 over 2 and next one is this this is Disney cross stitch from Ashet. And one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'm stitching seventh motif, seventh character, Bambi. I already stopped subscription and uh, I have the chart to finish this sampler. And um, there are some more samplers for this series, but um, I won't. I won't stitch second or third one, and I I finish with this one. This one, the fabric is. Um, um, 11 count Ada and I'm using four strands DMC thread actually it's a kit and uh, I'm using the kit fabric and the kit has a um, different thread and uh, it says I should use three strands but uh, I prefer four strands for 11 count and I prefer DMC thread, so I change the uh, thread. And 
from here and I'll show you my full coverage pieces. This one, this is quite huge. This one was charted by myself from an illustration and uh, it is 522 wide by 854 high and it uses 180 colors and uh, I'm stitching this on 32 count Lugar fabric and I've finished only 3.9% and uh, I can see some chain here, but uh, and uh, something and uh, all background. You don't see what this is yet. The next one is this. This is also uh, charted by myself and uh, from an illustration. Mm. I'm stitching this on 44 count linen and I'm stitching this with one over one half stitch because 44 count is too fine and this one also maybe you don't know what it is but uh, here i have a part of a um, tower a castle You see, maybe it's too dark. A tower with windows, maybe. Well, I'm inserting this because I won't really move the part I talked about this project. Um, I usually stop recording and restart sometimes, uh, mainly between projects. So uh, each part is um, stored as separated files and uh, I removed one forever. And it was Wednesday when I recorded that and it's Friday today so I added a few more hundred stitches after that. This is QS Ye Old Kitchen Kitten Max Colors from Heaven and Earth Designs artwork by Chiro Marchetti. Um, its size is 400 wide by 277 high and it uses 236 colors. I already stitched 13.3% um, and I haven't seen a cat I haven't seen a kitten yet but um, maybe I have some leaf here this jar The detail is very beautiful.
And I also forgot to mention that you can find the detailed information of each project in the description part below. So if you are interested in any of my projects, please refer to the description. And the next is the last one today. This one, this one was also charted by myself from an illustration of a book. And this is 419 wide by 616 high and it uses 239 colors and I'm stitching it on the Ghana 28 coat and uh, this one this one is basket weave 10 stitch with two strands and unfortunately I can see horizontal lines and now I can see the face of the lion upper face uh, ears and uh, eyes and a part of nose nose and hair and back tail and wings because it's not normal lion but it flies and finally i have a i have the head of a person this i already uh, stitched 17.9 percent so it is still long way to go well that's all for today um, i hope you enjoyed the video and hope to see you 